can be very frustrating and it's certainly frantic, but the final result almost invariably is, is some kind of, kind of an awakening of each kid. I'm a retired mechanical engineer and I pretty much specialize here in, believe it or not, machining and teaching the kids how to use tools without hurting themselves or anybody else. Our first robot was made out of plywood and PVC pipe. Now we're using everything from carbon fiber, polycarbonate, CNC milled aluminum parts. We've come so far technologically. If you really boil it all down to what we're really doing, it's not about building robots, it's about teaching these kids how to do what we do, they will learn by osmosis. They're like dry sponges in a puddle. It's cool. That is what brings us back year after year. The goal of the preseason is to educate the new students and get them ready for the competition season in January. My main focus right now is a t-shirt cannon that we are building for Camus High School. Um, this is a project I've been working on for past eight months or so. Uh, from the design to we finally got the budget approved from Camus, so mainly been working on that, getting it ready for the big homecoming game. Uh, my favorite part of being a part of Team Mean Machine is the hands-on experience that you get and it's just something that can't really be found anywhere else in a high school environment. Each week the mentors work in their area of expertise whether it be machining or um, working with shop tools and they train the kids but it's not like a classroom environment. The kids are required to speak up for what they want to do and um, be responsible for everything from presenting what they're doing in front of the group to uh, presenting in front of other adults. It's pretty amazing because they challenge themselves more than any classroom ever, ever would. The students run the shop and the mentors guide when they need to. My favorite part is watching the mentors enable these kids to be their best. When something needs to be tuned or something needs to be fixed in the middle of competitions, I'm usually there. Just kind of the first moment I walked in, I just saw the machinery and the electronic stuff and all the computers on the walls, I'm like, yes, I want to do this. My favorite part of the being part of robotics is the competitions because all of it, um, they're, they're really fun. There's a lot of energy there. Once you get into sort of the elimination matches, it's, it's like being on a roller coaster of just stress and adrenaline and it's, it's really fun though. My uh, son started the team 11 years ago and uh, since uh, that time I've had a chance to work with a lot of different students. Got to know the kids and how excited they were and I just couldn't let them down. Uh, couldn't let them not have this opportunity. One of the exciting things about this team is watching it grow and, and uh, the support from the district and, and from uh, local industries and so we've been able to grow from you know, a small corner of a, of a gym and, uh, and a couple of screwdrivers into having CNC mills and, uh, and really training uh, students on uh, advanced manufacturing. We started with five students and now we're at uh, over 55. Well, my favorite part is always working with the students and, and seeing the excitement that they have. And, and even a favorite part of that favorite part is when they surprise me. I've just learned to uh, not to doubt them when they, when they uh, get excited and get, uh, get inspired um, to, to go after something.